Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round three of seven of SCG States here in Indianapolis. This is Modern, day two of the States event. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, my co-host, Matthew Robert Dow. And here's the spice that you picked out for round Boom. three. Because Twitch chat was going bananas. They needed spice, they said. They we said, Matt, got it. I need some of the flavor. I need some of the heat. And you said, I'm going to bring you that heat in the form of a lone pox deck versus storm. Oh, yeah. This is it, huh? Yeah. This is where that spice is. This, this one should be interesting. Man. Uh, I watched this lone pox deck last round. Uh... Beat a, beat a twin player. He faded Splinter Twin for quite a few turns, uh, but he was uh, had him in the Ravens crime lock. I saw the, that. Yeah, even Ravens I was watching going that match. on that. Jeez. Killed him with blood gas. That was crazy. So. So this, one, this one should be good. Both players getting ready to kick it off here, starting at the proper life total of 20 and 20. Indeed. Both of these players 2-0. So we will not be showing you another yeah, 0 one or 0-2 no. match. We found some spice in the 2-0 bracket. This is the 2-0 bracket one. spice, this is table man. One Look right at this. Now. No twin in sight. No. No Abzan in sight. Well, I mean... I'm excited. I imagine the first 12 players are just twin players. Oh, uh, I would think so. There is so much twin here. <laughs> Let's take a look at how these... Well, who do you favor here in this matchup? God, I don't know. Pox, because it's sweet and I want him to win. Rogue1987 <laughs> has joined the channel. Thank you, Rogue. Enjoy your moderator privileges, which I assigned you because I thought it was funny that people knew you were a moderator from another channel. Yeah. And I'll do anything for comedy. Bad Juju 2001 thank you for following also. Hilarious name. <laughs> a man called Steve. <laughs> and Come then on, there man. was this guy. Yeah. <laughs> a man called Steve, you gotta follow, because otherwise, I, don't, I, I think... <laughs> Dow just wants to say the name again. A man called Steve. I like it. It's a good one. I can get behind a man called Steve. <laughs> and I just realized what I said. <laughs> oh, Come man. on. That's a sound bite that's stayed in the intro video. <laughs> yeah. Matt can get behind a man called Steve. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're going to lead off with an, under an overgrown tomb tapped from Dan Lashbrook, our Pox player. Zach, he's going to play an island. Can I make the glare gonna worse? He's going to serum visions. It's, it's, it's possible you did. I, it's very possible I did. I am not the guy who normally sets that stuff up. We'll try to get him to uh, move his cards. Uh, I, there, I, to, uh, unfortunately, let, there's, there's nowhere I don't... Uh, it's going to be tough. All right, so he's going to keep one on top. He's going to pass it back. Oh, baby. We got smallpox. It's happening. Oh, baby. <laughs> I think we. I think we. that should be the line there. All right, we're going to take two. We're going to go to 18. We're going to cast smallpox. We're all going to lose a life. Oh, we're all going to sack a creature. We're all going to lose a land. We're all going to discard a card. As a, when I would test out Storm, and I'd play it because Alex Pressig plays a similar kind of lone pox deck, smallpox would have ruined me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to play around. Yeah, it seems pretty decent. Um, Zach's going to lose Faithless Looting, I imagine. That's what he's going to discard. Uh, Dan, he's going to discard a Woodland Cemetery. But there goes this island, and there goes an Overgrown Tomb. So we're going to draw a good taxi and probe. Perhaps we'll get to see, uh, see what Dan's working with here. He's got a treetop village, a swamp, I believe a Life from the Loam, and a Dark Blast. Yep, that's what it looks like. Uh, that, no, it's a murderous cut. He has a murderous cut, treetop village, swamp, and a dark place. Yep. So he's got some creature interaction here, playing against this storm deck. Not exactly where you want to be, although Zach does have a goblin electromancer in his hand. Sure. So, uh, this murderous cut, while normally pretty pretty terrible in this matchup, not going to be not going to be completely dead because he will be able to kill this uh, Goblin Electromancer. If that yeah, which it. is usually a good thing you want to kill. I mean, granted, it's your one creature you have, so like people are really happy when you run it out in the Storm deck because it turns on a majority of their removal. Mm -hmm. But it's not a creature you can just leave alive. Yeah. It makes going off a million times easier for the Storm player. So there's going to be a Steam Vents from Zach, and we're going to ship it back to Dan.
Yeah, Chris, we do that too. Uh, the problem is, is the tables obviously shifts and the cameras tend to move around as players and judges bump into things. Uh, and currently the the main cameraman here, who you all met in the form of Norm Cohen, has been uh, missing uh, for, for a while. We yeah. don't know where he went. He's been gone. There's a treetop village. Pass it back. Uh, Oops. No. Uh, uh, he was thinking about it. Fence. He was thinking uh, about it. All right, there, there you there's go. There's a Stevens. Shock. Put him to 15. Yep. There's going to be an Electromancer. Dan's like, oh, God, something I can kill. There's a swamp. There is a smallpox. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> smallpox yeah, is happening. Yeah, buddy. Both players going to oh, lose Oh, you life. have two lands? Oh, you don't have another land in your hand? Oh, we're going to lose a desperate ritual. Yep. God, this I just don't think this is a very good matchup for Storm. It isn't. It's no. a terrible matchup. Feel, feels pretty miserable. It's very hard. Um, all right, untap. There's a Pyromancer Ascension. We're going to cast a faceless, Faithless Looting. Oh, well. We draw Faithless Looting and uh, get Taxi and Probe. Going to pitch Desperate Ritual in addition to the other Faithless Looting. And we're going to shock and play a Taxi and Probe. Dan's going to show a hand at Dark Blast Murderer's Cut. I believe those with those oh, are. Oh, there no, Zombie Infestation. A man called Steve. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. I think it's zombie. Is that zombie infestation? Uh, or is it Dark Blast? It isn't Dark Blast. It could be... What other weird ones that... Does that Vengeful Pharaoh would be a one that I wouldn't that's, immediately recognize? I don't believe that's Vengeful Pharaoh either. The glare doesn't help. No, I understand that. All right, we're going to draw a card. It's a land. Bloodstained Mire it is. We're going to crack it. Gonna get a steam vents. It, it's it's possible that it was zombie infestation. It definitely wasn't ventral pharaoh, and it definitely wasn't dark blast because dark blast, unless yeah. they reprinted it, has a picture of like a little gremlin guy yeah. getting like shot. Getting dark blasted. Yeah. You guys can see me on camera when I did that, but I actually did the picture of him getting. He did. All right, kick it back to Dan. Dan is going to dredge life from the loam. We're doing it. There's a zombie infestation. There's a shadow of doubt, and there is another life from the loam that was dredged. So that's the other card he has in his hand. Then shadow is doubt. Shadow doubt. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. That is what that is what it is. Thank you. We're gonna cast life from the loam. God, this card's sweet. Yep. We're gonna draw three lands. Get them back from our graveyard. We're gonna play a woodland cemetery. Get two overgrown tombs back. In addition, we're gonna kick it back. Zach draws an island. He's got Pyromancer's Ascension and Manamorphose in his hand. Chooses to cast the Manamorphose. Gonna make some mana, draw a card. It's a Goblin Electromancer. Not bad. Gonna play a Pyromancer's, Pyromancer's Ascension and ship the turn back. Dan, he's gonna dredge loam. Oh man, he's looking for Bajuka Bog. He if wants it. Doesn't hit it. That's another zombie infestation and two more lands. So. He's going to play an overgrown tomb. He's going to fire up this treetop village and, uh, and battle for three. I like it. Uh, yeah. Zach, apparently, not used to seeing a bunch of these cards. He's just used to, uh, you know, getting to turn three and killing his opponent. Yeah, pretty true. So okay. Zach's going to go to eight. T taking a considerable amount of damage off of uh, his steam vents and then Gataxian probes. But now we've got a Pyromancer's Ascension. So, kind of flooding out here for the Storm deck. There's a Goblin Electromancer. The beats are real. They are. It's true. Alright. We're going to draw. Wait, was it? Uh, that might have been an another murderous cut. Sure. Sure enough. 
We're gonna murder this guy. Man, I like the fact that this this lone pox deck just gets super super deep in its own graveyard and can play cards like murderous cut and stuff like that. Does he have a Tasker in his list? Uh, he does not. No Tasker, huh? Interesting. We're gonna bash for three. Three time village. Get in there. It's happening. Zach's down to five. All right, faceless faithless looting. That's good. Death base. Cast Faithless Looting. We're gonna draw two. We're gonna trigger Pyromancer's Ascension. We got another one in the graveyard. Alright. We need to ship two. I imagine we're getting rid of some of these lands. We got a sleight of hand, though. Right. That'll get us closer. Oh, man. Come on. Get some portal sleight of hands here. Get these white border. Portal sleight of hands? Yeah. With, like, the genie? Yeah. Stop. You're sweet, man. You're embarrassing yourself, man. I'm not embarrassing myself. All right, we found a grape shot and a thought scour. Uh, thought scour targeting ourselves? Yeah. I, I, we definitely don't want to thought scour our lone pox opponent. No, no, we do not. So we're gonna thought scour. Targeting me. Though this could be bad, also. And I think we drew another land. Pyretic Ritual mi milled there. We're gonna loam. If we find Bajuka Bog, this game is completely over. No. Nope. We found two Abrupt Decays. Double Abrupt Decays. Can't get those back. So, Zach, he's gonna get one more turn with a Pyromancer. Pyromancer's Ascension. Yep. There's a beat for three from the Treetop Village. Down to two. Man. Savages. <laughs> they, are, they know what That's... ticks you off. How about I give you some revised swamps and you can give me the beta ones? <laughs> Deal? Oh, we found another, another Pyromancer's, Pyromancer's Ascension. Ascension and a Bloodstained Miner. Pretty sure not... we're, gonna, we're on to game two here. That's not what we want. I guess we could flashback uh, Faithless? Faithless looting. We're going to do that. Flash it back. Trigger. Draw a card. Draw two, discard two, correct? Yep. It's just land. Oh. It's just not what, not what you want to see. He does have to discard. Dan is pointing that out. Dan knows what's up. He's not letting this stand. It's true. I'm gonna play a mountain. We're gonna show him a Pyromancer's Ascension. And we're gonna scoop it up. Yeah. That seems... Lone Pox, continuing its rampage early on in this tournament. Yeah, it's doing it's, really uh, well. It's up a game here. All right, uh, I, I'll do the sideboard for... Yeah, I'll for do Storm? the sideboard for Storm. Right. You do the sideboard for Pox. You're having fun with that. DDP... Uh-oh. Something happened here? No, just read the sideboard, man. Oh, all right, I got you. Come on. Sorry, man, I'm trying to stay up on what's going on in this world. All right, so let's check out the sideboard for Zach Edwards' Storm deck that had the loss here. Three Empty the Warrens, two Shatter Storms, four Swan Song, four Lightning Bolt, two Echoing Truths. All right, you got to believe those Swan Songs are coming in, right? Yeah, we can, mm. we can counter a, a smallpox, a smallpox, and then if he plays an additional smallpox, at least it gets rid of the the creature that we've created for him. Sure, you know what I mean? It buys us a turn. Uh. The bolts, maybe? I don't know if I'm... Like, Swan Songs just seems super... So super what are you going to bring in? Like, even Bolt doesn't seem fine. I don't I, know. This I, seems like a very difficult matchup. It is. It's a super hard matchup for uh, Storm. I'm just trying to think of things that can make it easier for him. I think Dan... Zach is bringing in six cards, and I think there were f two Bolts and four Swan Songs. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much I like Swan Song, since, like, you're trying to assemble, like, these combo cards... And Swan Song is just a way to protect your combo, but yeah. it's more like a protect your combo against like counter spells. And stuff sure. Like that. I I just think it's a good card to keep you keep your lands alive. Yeah, that that might that may very well be the case, but I think that's what Zach thinks also. So he's on the two lightning bolt for Swan Song plan. Okay. Kill those three top villages and then. Uh, two we lightning bolt. Didn't see bolt any blood guests, but... Yeah, that's even. All right, hit me up with that loam. All right, we have two Golgari charms, two Kitchen Finks, a Maelstrom Pulse, a Bajuka Bog, two Scavenging Uses, one Radiant Fountain, one Dark Glass, one Thoughtseize, one Raven's Crime, two Unravel the Aether, and one Inquisition of Kozilek. Cards I like here are Inquisition of Kozilek, Raven's Crime, Thoughtseize, uh, 
Bajukabog. Some number of scavenging ooze might be worth bringing in. Sure. Uh, since you can uh, can hit their, you know, cards in their graveyard, so Pyromancer's Ascension is less less good. But it might just be too slow against like Pyromancer's Ascension. Yeah. Uh, it does hit Passing Flames too? The Passing Flames kill. Yeah. Um, Golgari Charm might be a consideration due to uh, Pyromancer's Ascension, but I don't think so because he has Abrupt Decay's main deck, and those seem those seem better. better since they can hit Electromancers. Sure. Uh, definitely boarding out most of my removal, though. Dark Blasts, that see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Uh, Vengeful Pharaoh, I don't think is uh, where we want to be here. I don't know if cuts are really okay in the main No, either. I, don't, I don't particularly like You could like probably take either. those yeah, out. Yeah, I think you could take out all your removal. So, But th this doesn't feel like a great matchup. I mean, it's it's very difficult. So the, I'm trying to think back to the games that I've played against Alex Bressig when we've kind of tested this match. And... The, the only way I really won those is by just chaining draw spells together, mm -hmm. finding a Pyromancer's Ascension, while still somehow being able to retain all of the cards that generate mana for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that was really it. Yeah, it seems and, pretty and difficult. And you're right, like, a Bajuku Bog or, yeah. uh, heaven forbid, like, some sort of scavenging ooze effect in the sideboard is just nuts. Like, it's just super good. Yeah. <clears throat> so, interesting deck here. Lone Pox deck is pretty cool. What does Vengeful Fair do? Let's get the actual text on that You want to see what Vengeful Fair? Yeah, sure. I want to see I'll, I'll pull it up. Uh, whoops. Let I'm pretty sure it just, it like, kills creatures. Is This is taking me forever to do. I'll, uh, so. I'll see if I can't find it here. Uh, so for Vengeful Pharaoh, we've got, uh, well, I guess I could do it like this, right? This is probably, see, let me, uh... Oh god, I don't know if that'll right, actually work. Let's pull it up. Let's see if we can pull this card up here. Yeah. I'm Definitely not very good in this matchup, but... I'm working on it. Uh... Sorry, guys. Take me a little bit here. Boom! Vengeful oh. Pharaoh. Got a... Let's make there. that guy bigger. So it's whenever a combat whenever combat damage is dealt to you or a Planeswalker you control, if Vengeful Pharaoh is in your graveyard, destroy target attacking creature, then put Ven Vengeful Pharaoh on top of your deck. Yep. So, yeah. Pretty good way to... Uh, Pretty good card against like the mid-range decks, since you pretty much can like can kill their creatures over and over and over again. Although you do take some damage though, so you still have to be dealt combat damage. Very true. You can dredge this guy off the top of your library every turn if you got a dredger. It's pretty sweet. I mean, yeah, it's a definitely card for one. sure. Whenever a creature is. Hmm. I'll tell you what, when I played Legacy Judge, I never never really thought of that card as a card that I'd slip in there, but then again, I was also, like, killing people on the play yeah. most of the time, so... Yeah. Yeah, Legacy a little bit more powerful than this format. Uh, yeah, I t but this is cool. I like this, because yeah, I, I, like I always it. thought the dredge mechanic was really, uh, I guess, not being used to, I guess, its fullest capacity, because you couldn't... You didn't have access to Golgori Grave Troll. Yeah. But now that you do, I mean, these decks are pretty sweet. Yeah, no Golgori Tra Grave Trolls here. This is more just like your... Standard Pox deck, which is a deck I just can't stand and actually, in all honesty, and hate. Sure. But mostly because it just draws the game out, and we just sit here and we're just top decking against each other over and over and over yeah. and over again. Yeah, I feel you. And like their win conditions are like Blood Guest or Nether Spirit in Legacy. And it's like, sure. Come on, man. It's going to kill me with small cuts. Yeah, Icarid was a strong card, but you know what? I even. I even got off the Ikrid plan at the end there when I was, I was playing. I was playing the, and that deck was. I had that deck all foiled out. I mean that deck was Blood Gas was the chosen card, um, just because Dakmore Salvage is a two of in your mana base allowed you the ability to get back the Blood Gas way faster than you could get back Ikrids. Like mm -hmm. getting back three Blood Gas in a turn after dredging a Dakmore was way better than than trying to get Ikrids back, but yeah, I mean, the, the power difference is obvious between the two decks. So, shuffling up for game two here. Zach, I imagine, could be on the play here. Dan, he's just hoping to find some discard and some small poxes, and uh, yeah. Don't living wish in Fairy Macabre. That heavenly once was awful. I was playing against uh, little little Chad over there at uh, NRG, and he living wished for a Fairy Macabre in his Elves deck. And I was yeah. like, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. 
This is this is a spicy match. I'm glad oh, you cooked this one. one up, man. Yeah. It's a cool one. It is, for sure. So here we go. Zach I draw his opening. Chan. Opening seven. He sees a hand with no lands but a Gitaxian probe. I'm pretty sure this isn't one you can keep against the land destruction tech. It not, it's honestly not that bad of a choice. I'm pretty sure we're shipping this one back, but discarding against the discard deck, this like this Pox deck, not yeah. also not where you want to be. Really? Yeah, you don't want to go down. You don't want to mulligan to six. Like then you're just down a card. Right. Uh, and all they're gonna do is pick you apart. Right. So Dan looks like he's got quite a few lands here. I think he's got a smallpox in there. I think he's sure. uh, I think he's gonna snap this one off. Well, guys, thank you so now much for uh, tuning in today to day two of SCG Indy States Champions. Totally. This has been pretty exciting. Day one was standard. Had a good time. Uh, day two moderns turned out to be pretty sweet, as we've yeah, so uh, far. seen a majority of twin decks kind of running around. But there's been a few. Not on camera yet, thank God. Yeah, we'll not, get there. Yet, Don't worry. If you like twin, we'll we, get there. I mean, we've got we got Scotty Meyer not on twin. He's he's up in front. He's on Abzan. We've seen a couple of Abzan decks. Yeah, not bad. So this has been a pretty decent event. I like it. Cut back here. As Zach is done. Shuffling up, He's he took piling. a big pile shuffle there after the mulligan. There's no main more dread return as the most consistent dread list. He also cut careful study in favor of street wraith. Interesting. That is interesting. Consistency versus explosiveness is the name of the game when it comes to dredge. Spent a lot of time today watching people shuffle. Yeah, well. This is what happens. You start the. I think the deeper you get into eternal formats, the longer the shuffling is. Yeah. The it's, more people like to shuffle. Yeah. All right. I they love like, well, to they shuffle. like to talk while they shuffle. There's more I don't interaction. Like to talk. Well, you're just, you're just. I do not talk. No, I'm you just don't. Just a rapper. Are, are you? Yeah. Oh, geez. Some excitement going on over there. Oh, yeah. This guy. Something. Something he's happened. Hyped. Something happened. This at, guy is hyped. What table is that? Something happened at table four. Table four guy just blew up. He's going bananas. Yeah. All right. I agree. Consistency in general is important. Legacy, which is why I advocate playing miracles. All right. There's a keeper. I think we got three yeah. lands: Goblin, okay. Electromancer, and some some another spell. Here we go. We got an island. Turn one. An island that's baking in the sun. Yeah, dude, that island's bright. Dan, he drew a smallpox, so he's a savage. Ouch. He's going to play an overgrown tomb. Ship it back. Yeah, well, we, we got a... Mountain. Oh, and God, please. Oh, ooh. Pyromancer's ascension. All right. There it is. Didn't, didn't run the whole extra master out there to get poxed. Oh, there's an abrupt decay, though. So we really want to turn this ascension on quickly. Yeah. I think it's going to not be long for this world, though. No, the abrupt decay might just yeah. take care of it. Dan, he's going to ship it back after playing a Woodland Cemetery. Zach, he's going to cast a play of Flooding Strand. Oh, then he's going to cast a Goblin Electromancer. And if I am Dan Lashbrook, I am salivating right now. <laughs> Are you just loving oh, it? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Anytime you can kill a creature with, with Pox, that's where you want to be. So Dan did bring in Golgari Charm. We're going to abrupt decay Pyromancer's Ascension here. So, Zach, his other card in Zach's hand was a Manamorphos. Yeah. I imagine with this uh, Electromancer on the stack, we are going to kill the Pyromancer's Ascension. Sure enough, that is what happened. We're going to fetch. So, go and get an island here, or a Steam Vents, as the case may be. Yep. So, there's a Steam Vents. I believe Zach will now cast a Serum Visions. But... Our friend Dan Lashbrook here, he's going to get him with a smallpox next turn. Trying to dig him, dig himself out here. Yeah, I don't know if, how much I like Golgari Charm in this matchup. Really? Yeah. Why? Because, uh, like, all it does is kill Pyromancer's Ascension, I think. Okay. Uh, I guess it handles Empty the Warren Tokens if, like, you're afraid your opponent has brought that in. But that, sure. that doesn't seem like a very good plan to me against this deck. So, Serum Vision's going to... Draw a grape shot, see at least a faithless suiting. I think the faithless suiting is gonna be shipped to the bottom. Faithless suiting not another card that I think is very good against this pox deck. Yeah, I think like, you put it on top. Since it's card disadvantage. Since you draw it 
Yeah. So, I imagine we're going to see a pox here. Dang! Grammar Police out in full force today here at uh, the Nerd Rage Gaming Live Twitch chat. So, here's a pox. Come on, Rogue, get on that. Jeez. I don't think that's his job. I, it, he's well, moderator. He's, yeah. He's going to make it so people don't use four His job's words. whatever I say it is. Oh. <laughs> Alright, small pox. We're going to lose a life. We're going to discard a card. We're going to sack a creature. We're going to blow up a sacrifice of land. That smallpox is live. That'll be 19 to 16 in favor of uh, Dan. So, Dan, he's going to discard Maelstrom Pulse. Uh, Zach, he's going to discard a land. No. Yeah, so we're going to sacrifice the Electromancer and our land. Yeah, there's a Pyretic Ritual. So... We have Metamorphose, Grape Shot, and py Pyretic Ritual in hand. I imagine we just have to continue to ship the turn back. Looks like the fetch. Dan is going to fetch. I imagine go get uh, probably a basic here. I think these storm decks are capable of blood mooning you. Ooh, we got the sweet pen twirl. Oh, yeah, Dang. this guy. How can you even... Can you stop that? Can I stop that? Yeah, I could. I could How? knock a pen out of his hand. No, not when he's spinning it that fast. Yeah, I could. So there's a there's a forest. Doesn't want to get blood mooned. Blood mooned did. Blood mooned did. Blood, blood, blood mooned. Blood mooned. Yeah, doesn't want to get mooned. Doesn't want to. Who would? Depends who's mooning me. All right, Dan's gonna untap. He's gonna draw for his turn. Did keep in a. Looks like he kept in some murderous cuts. Gonna play an Urborg. We all got we all got swamp. Everyone's snow. got swamp. Got snow. No, he dropped it. No, oh, he, he dropped, dropped it again. again. This Urborg is really <laughs> this, scaring him. <laughs> this Urborg just completely We're gonna play a blood gas. We got a clock. It's an eight turn clock. Zach, he's gotta read it. Oh blood gas. I love that card. That card's one of my favorite. I like the flavor on it of where like your opponent is at less than ten life and it, it ends haste. haste because it's just like I can feel my yeah. opponent being almost <laughs> dead. Yeah. I like that about the vampires, it's really sweet. Here's a metamorphose. Oh, Zach. He's busting out his dice. Oh, the storm count's begun. Let's see if it's storm. We have a thought scour here. Oh, there's a swan song. So you like all right. What else? are we trying to What are we trying to accelerate into, though? I I am unsure, sir. Can thought scour here, but if we need to hit a land, then to cast pyretic ritual. Gotta check the blood gas again. Yeah, grape shotting this is an option, but then he just plays a land and gets it back. Landfall, suckle. Thought scour oh, us. Oh boy. Oh, oh we found shot. the grape shot. Ugh, we have two. Not good. Alright. No, we've only got one mana remaining, correct? Yeah. That's it. And we're just going to kick it back. So we just wanted a cantrip. Dan, he's going to draw. He's going to battle with this blood gas. It's going to be 18 to 14. Treetop tree village. Oh, gosh. The clock has increased. Zach's going to draw. It's a Pyromancer's Ascension. But the more we got more. the go what? Dan's got the Golgari charm. Oh. oh my god, I almost said we again. I, I caught myself Rogue 1987. <laughs> Just for you, man. What is this we business? We're just going to kick it back. Dan's going to draw for the turn. He's going to Inquisition of Kozilek. Whoops! Are we going to Swan Song this? Zach in the tank whether or not he wants to swan song this. Gotta make sure he knows what it does. Yeah. I don't know if I want to swan song no. here, because I don't he want to. Not. I imagine you just take the pyretic ritual since you have the Golgari charm for the ascension anyways. Yeah. Man, if we had another land. Oh. We could have we could have played. Well, Zach could have played Pyretic Ritual, and then 
had, I guess, backup for Swan Song, but now it's just. Dang it, right the card's down. I imagine we're taking Pyretic Ritual here with, with Golgari Charm in hand. Otherwise, if, I think if we had uh, no Golgari Charm, I would probably take uh, Pyromancer's Ascension since it's the card that is most scary, especially with the cantrips. So, people are saying take Swan Song so you can pox. If he has pox, I'm stacked doing that because his pox is just insane against this deck. Yeah, you're not wrong. Dan trying to decide here. He's going to take the Swan Song. Okay. So maybe he does hit Pox. He's going to fire up Treetop Village. He's going to battle. That's a dead... That's a dead blood guest. That's a sorcery. It is. Grape Shot? Yes. Sorcery. Sorcery speed. Whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. Looks like we're probably going to call a judge here. That, no, that is? No. No? No. Okay. So he's still just call, your, call a judge, but... Still taking the damage there. We drew a Blood Saint Meyer. That gets us a land. One step closer. Zach looking to see what cards he's got in his graveyard for this. Yeah. Pyromancer's Ascension. Yeah, that was an oopsie. That was a quick oopsie. If you guys tuned in yesterday to the standard stream, you would have seen some uh, pretty big oopsies. Yeah. There were definitely a few of those yesterday. Some uncaught standard. big oopsies. Yes. Some oopsies that uh, went unpassed. Dynamage. Dynamage. Thanks for the follow, bud. We appreciate it. Blood gas is black, black. Correct? Correct. So, Zach? BB. Bay, He's bay, in bay. the tank here. Yeah, there were a lot of... Nerd Town remembers. There were some There were some huge oopses yesterday. Yeah. Just some big old oops. So, I think Zach, uh, he needs to make a move here. He's, uh, he's really tanking. He's going to fetch. Alright, I'm out of here. The side events are starting. Side events are starting. Stream ends. See if I can get a draft in. We're going to go check out side events. Yeah, I'm going to go, go fire up uh, dra Dragons of Tarkir draft. Jeez, our mics must be turned up again today. Zach Edwards deep in the tank still after this fetch. He's going to cast a Pyrite for a tool. He's got five, three mana. He's going to cast Pyromancer's Ascension. He's got one. Interesting. Storm count is two. I don't know what we're going to do. A grape shot? We could have I mean, just cast Pyromancer's Ascension, correct? Why did we cast Pyretic Ritual? Uh, sure. Excuse me. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure why that All happened. All right, we're going to kick it back. Guess we felt like discarding a card there. I mean, we could have grape shotted for for three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's getting us there. We're gonna fire up Treetop Village. This is a turn, two turn clock. We're yeah. gonna put him to three. So Zach, he needs to find something, or else he's just gonna be dead next turn. And we still have Golgari Charm in hand, so I imagine we fire that one, that sucker off, and and this one, I think. Whoops! There goes Pyromancer's Ascension. Zach, he's gonna untap, draw for the turn. It's gonna be a Thought Scour. Might as well. Would have been a good card to have with uh, Pyromancer's Ascension. Yeah, especially if you hit a Thought yeah. Scour off of it. Oh no, we drew another. And then land. draw a land. So I'm pretty sure we're just dead to the uh, treetop activation. And Lone Pox, I think, gonna be moving on to two and zero here. Lone Pox, three and zero. Three and zero, yeah. This is nuts. We're gonna shock. Go to one. Grape shot ourselves. He's gonna grape shot. Can you target yourself with grape shot? Uh, is it target player? I believe it is target player. All right. Well, Zach Edwards, he commits seppuku and falls on his sword. 
Yeah, yes. targets himself with Grape Shot. Kills wow. himself. That was uh, that was pretty intense. Dan talking now about Golgari Charm and like, eh, probably this card's probably bad, but you know, I got a ton of cards to take out, so right. So that was some. I think it's good as a backup plan because you don't know the storm player could be playing the one of empty the warrants. Yeah, you sure. don't want to get blown out by goblins. Yeah, but it just seems so hard for them to storm off. Oh, against this match, so it is.